For this lesson, we're going to get some more practice using mouse click events. I'm going to have you open a program that you've already completed, just like you did before, and this one's a program from Chapter 2. So this program was your witch project, where you did a cast spell and a magic procedure uh, with parameters so that the witch would go to different objects and cast a spell on them. So this one was non-interactive. It always just ran in the same order every time. And we're going to change this so that it's going to uh, be clickable. So if it, the witch will do spells on the objects as whenever we click on them. So the first thing we're going to do is change the title, the comment block at the top. It's no longer Chapter 2, Lesson 8. Now it is going to be Chapter 3, Lesson 7. And you want to save it with a new name. Now if your project wasn't done correctly, that is if you didn't have a cast spell in magic that you could reuse with different parameters and an ending, then you need to redo it because it needs to look like this before you use events. If you have an intro, that's great. We can also find a way to use that. So don't worry about it. But you, this is the minimum. You needed to have a cast spell in magic and an ending. Once you have this, here we are in our My First Method, so it should have looked like this. I've organized it into do and orders. So the first one was the first creature, and I can actually change this to the ogre. And the second one was the pixie, and I'm going to change my comment. And the third one was the troll. And then I have my ending. So I've organized my code into do and orders. This is going to make it easier when it's time to actually put it into an event. Got it all ready right here, and I'll be able to use my clipboard. If we come to our event listeners. We don't have any yet because this was done in Chapter 2, but I'm going to use mouse click events. I'm going to come here to mouse, click on an object. Remember, we practiced this before, so you should be pretty good at it now. Use your true. Change it to equals equals. And I've got three objects, the pixie, the ogre, and the troll. So you can do these events in any order, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pick troll here and troll. I'm going to use my event parameter here. And then I want the code. Well, I've already got the code under my first method, and this is the troll. So I'm going to take the one that's the troll, drag it to my clipboard. Then I can come here, and I can take it out of the clipboard and put it right there in my if. Now we want to do some incremental development, so I'm going to run it. It's going to do its own code first. I'm going to kind of let it go through. Then I'm going to click on the troll. So this is still running from my first method. It's got the ending, so it's going to be a little bit weird, but that's okay. And now I'm going to click on the troll. And she's off screen somewhere, but the code is running, and you can see that he gets shrunk. So I know that this one event works. I'm ready to keep going. I'm going to do an event for the pixie, an event for the ogre. And then my recommendation is that you pick an object that's already here for your ending. So maybe you click on the witch, and when you click on the witch, it'll do the ending. Or maybe you click on the dragon for the ending. If you have an intro, you could use the witch for your intro. But all of the things that you have in my first method, you're going to um, link to an event so that it's kind of interactive. Then you might want to just do a message at the beginning that says click on the winch to start and the dragon to end, you know, or click on the objects to see what happens. Then when I run this program, I can click on the objects in any order. I can even click on them more than once for the witch to cast your spell before I do the ending. So you're going to change this program, make it completely interactive, so that the only thing in my first method is maybe one code of introduction. Everything else should happen in mouse click events. When you have this program finished, make sure that your comment block has been changed, that you saved it with a new name, and you can save it in the backpack for a grade.